to have this uh, conversation continued. Over to you, Ramaji. Thank you, Prime Prime Sir. It's an amazing uh, morning and great question, great conversation on what is life. Uh, also, along with that, I see uh, the 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 screen of uh, Mr. Malvai. I greet this day with love in my heart. So your favorite topic, Kunain sir, as well, uh, love. What is love? So what is life? What is love? Let's explore in the conversation today. <clears throat> okay, so there is a lull in the conversation, so I'm supposed to fill it in. All right, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> So let's have a very, very energetic start to the day. And very warm welcome to my very, 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 very old friend, Suresh Kumar, who finally condescended, oh, sorry, came to join us today. After a long, long time, he's always avoiding these meetings. He's too busy. Anyway, so I'm very, very happy. So today's topic, like I said, uh, which you can see on my screen today, is from one of my most favorite authors, you know, this book of his was gifted to me back in 1983 when I had gone to give a training session at uh, TCS. So the head of HR, after the session, she gives me this book. And the name of the book is The Greatest Salesman in the World. So I say, hello, I've, I've done with that. I'm no more in sales. So she said, sir, this is not about sales. You read the book, you'll find out. And when I read the book, I found out that the book is not about sales, it's about life, you know? And there were many, many things in that book. But one thing, one of the things which stuck to me was, I will greet this day with love in my heart. And if you go on to read what he says, it is the theme for what I want to discuss with you today. All right, cool. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's go. Anything that comes to your mind? Now, one of the things which comes to my mind is it's very easy to greet something with love in your heart when, uh, you know, uh, things are going all right. Isn't it? Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. But, uh, but uh, uh, if, if we have to define love, because uh, in very general uh, term for the layman, uh, love is something which is associated with the romance something with the very close yeah, yeah 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 i'm going to come to that don't worry okay we will clarify uh, that as we go along yes can please. i have yeah of uh, course of course i you always can have whenever you want it thank you uh you know two thoughts uh just before joining to the session uh i thought you know uh when we do some activity for the first time uh you know we have that uh, uh freshness to it and uh, when we when we just repeat it, it gets mundane. Just just that bit of awareness, uh, awareness, and if we start doing every every activity that we do, as we are doing for the first time, I think uh, that was that was thought of the day uh, it started with. And uh, when um, um, uh, Shahidi ji started. And he was asking about life. Uh, just uh, two things strike in my mind. One is about uh, uh, a Tamil song. I think you would have heard, sir. You know, um, where uh, yeah, it was written by Mr. Kanadasan. He say, he asks, uh, what is life? You live it and experience it. That's and it. He asks, you know, what is this? What is that? Everything he, he confines and says, it's all about experience. And if everything is experience, who are you? He asks to the God. God says, I am the experience. So just wanted to share that. It's a very beautiful thought. And thank and you very much for sharing it. And the last one, you know, uh, my grandfather keeps uh, telling me this, you know, for monetary, there is profit and loss. But for experience, it's always profit. Yep. Thank you. Because that is life, right? So one of my gurus, she said to me that, you know, um, who gave you this life? I said, God did. What is life? A series of experiences that happens one after the other. And here, with our great wisdom, 
we are always judging every experience that he is giving us you know so if he is giving a gift to us like if somebody gives you a gift should you welcome it wholeheartedly and enjoy it or should you be judging it but we judge it right so we mm-hmm. you know so when we say oh i don't want this to happen so you're saying all right this part of life which god has given me i don't want it so i spend my life resisting it and a uh, few times when i get something which i like right i say ah oh, and how long is this going to last that also i am not experiencing fully have you noticed that true that is our nature right so in one of the objectives of this the morning conversations is that we can live each moment experiencing it fully that means that very moment whatever might be happening to me i'm going to experience it fully so if you remember the 50 object exercise that i asked you to do yesterday the more you do it the more you will be experiencing 100% because for those 30 seconds or for 10 mm-hmm. seconds when you give your complete attention you are experiencing fully in that moment and you will see the experience coming alive for you you will see colors coming alive for you the thing which looked flat earlier so very beautiful thing that uh, sai said you know that when we are like even food you know like today we may eat something and we really loved it you know and after two days we tell our wife you please make that again and she does and we say no this is not as good as that was right because somewhere in our head we've got some experience stored and we are always comparing with that so we are mm. living at concept not at experience no so mm. whatever we will do here is to bring us back to the experience of life right to live it and enjoy it like little children do i often see you know children in the neighborhood they may fight with one another but they will make up after 5 minutes their parents will not talk to each other for 5 years right so they live in the moment they 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 experience something they don't like it they leave it finished over done we carry it so that's what we are so what i'm i love this term so what so that's the way we are so what we can change that all right or we can continue to be that so one guy you know i was telling him why don't you invite your wife to do one of the transformational training programs he said look my wife's only motive when life is to keep on complaining if she does that program she'll stop complaining then what will she have to live for fir jiyegi kiske liye she only lives to complain i said okay that's one way of looking at it that's an interesting point of view so i greet this day with love in my heart and like kunan very nicely said conan not kunan i'm not talking about the love that we call love right i'm talking about the divine love i'm talking about when they say uh, love is god you know that love that the highest level of consciousness when you reach then you feel love for everything because you drop something okay so love so my uh, submission is how about today every moment when we meet someone when we go through certain parts of our day whether it's at work talking on the phone or meeting people or doing whatever you do in your house each and every moment we will meet that moment you know we will that particular life that is coming at us we will greet it with love and gratitude because i believe both these things go together i'm not talking about that love which we have you know the romantic one that comes with judgment all the time that comes with expectation all the time i'm talking about pure love so if you don't want to experience love experience gratitude it's quite close to that so question for all of you what is gratitude now gratitude we all know oh yeah it is a, you know gratitude we are grateful we are thankful these are words boss and there are times in our life when we actually feel that gratitude you know when you have a life threatening situation and you come out of it you really feel grateful i'm so grateful god that i'm alive okay so that feeling can we just close our eyes and recall one moment or one incident or whatever incident you had in your life when you actually felt very very grateful and i want you to reconnect with that feeling of gratitude to be aware of what it feels like we know the words it's important that we feel that 
even if you're not feeling it today, there was one day when you felt that. So feel that feeling of gratitude. Give yourself permission to feel that feeling, whatever it was. It may not be easy to describe it. So are you in touch with that feeling? Are you experiencing it? Okay, so if you've done experiencing it, open your eyes. And tell me that now that you allowed yourself to experience that gratitude feeling, how are you feeling right now? Happiness and then fulfillment is there. Okay, anything else? Happy and uh, feeling little emotional. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Feeling relaxed and yes. uh, open. Now, every time when you want to feel, you know, so when you say be in a state of gratitude, means you allow yourself to feel that. Okay. You look at your scooter and you feel that and you say, I'm grateful that you are there in my life. You look at your children and you feel that gratitude that they are there in your life. You're approaching a client, you're experiencing that. I'm grateful that this client is there in my life. I'm grateful that my parents are there in my life. See, sometimes we go and do these little exercises, you know, write down 100 things that you're grateful for. Or in a meditation class, they'll say, oh, be grateful for this and be grateful for that. And after the class is over, then what? So what I'm saying is that what if we could be grateful for every moment that comes to us and actually feel grateful? Wow, you know, like this is happening to me. And this is the first time it's happening to me. And I'm so grateful that it's happening to me. And I'm feeling that and I'm going through my day. And I'm saying, all right, do it only for today. You may like it so much that you'll say tomorrow also, you'll say today also, I will for one day be in a state of gratitude and love. Is that something difficult to do? Now, one more thing I wanted to say to everybody. See, there is a way of living. It's called unconscious living. Okay. And there's another way of living, which is called conscious living. So what do you think is the difference between unconscious living and conscious living? Anybody wants to say something about it? So I know what you understand by this. Control. Conscious, conscious living is, uh, you know, you, you know what can happen and uh, uh, you are prepared, uh, you know, to face any kind of situation, whatever is coming in life, maybe mm, difficulties, okay. See, whatever. Let us say that suddenly you feel itchy in your nose. Okay. Automatically, what will you do? Scratch yeah, it. Right? Scratch, yeah. Now, intentionally, consciously means you are feeling itchy in your nose and you are taking a conscious decision. Should I scratch it or not? And then you consciously say, okay, I will scratch it. So now unconscious, which is auto automatic act. See, most of the time, if you notice, we are in an auto mode, as we call in our... Uh, you know, IT industry, you're in an auto mode. Everything is happening in auto mode. We are automatically reacting. Most of the time we are reacting and it's so unconscious it happens. After we react, we realize that we have reacted, right? So it's somewhat similar to what Sai is saying. One is unconscious, it's happening automatically because of habits or whatever it is. So we can go through the whole day unconsciously See, like whatever work you do, let's say somebody is a housewife and she does her cooking, this and that. Does she have to do much thinking for that? No. Automatically, they can do this. It is programmed. Now it has become routine. It's become habit. So habitually you're doing not much thinking is required. Suppose somebody says, hey, there is this new dish you have to make, you know. Now you have to start thinking. You'll become intentional. Find the cookbook and then see, okay, what is the measure? How much I should put? Is it right? You know, now it's becoming more conscious. So what I'm saying is we go through our day unconsciously. In the morning, we'll attend a session, we say, oh, gratitude. 
I'm grateful for my body. I'm grateful for my parents. I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. Class is over. Back to auto mode. Correct. So what I'm suggesting is, if you want to take the benefit of these morning conversations, we will agree on one practice which we will do throughout the day and see how our life shows up. Right. So here I am saying consciously, whenever you see, okay, I see that chair out there. Okay, I'll allow myself to be grateful that I have it. I look at this remote over here and I say, wow, I have an AC. I'm grateful that I have it. Okay. So can you imagine that when you start consciously allowing yourself to feel gratitude for each and everything that you come across? Okay. And so that is see, yeah. You will experience so much of you know abundance in your life. You know, it's a very simple stuff. You tried out. Yeah, Kunan, you were saying something. Please go ahead. Uh, that is the maybe that is the reason, sir. There is a there is a term used, uh, attitude of gratitude. Yeah, like you bring it all the time, right? Yeah. Now, and, okay, go ahead. And that's that's what uh, we say that uh, uh, happiness that brings us gratitude. I mean, it's it's not the happiness that bring gratitude, but gratitude bring happiness. Is this the statement? It brings awe. You know, you suddenly say, "My God, I never realized I've got so much." Look in our auto mode. Where does our attention go here? Somehow, in our auto mode, our attention goes, you know, where to all the things that make us miserable. Yeah, another difficult client to handle today. That payment is not coming. How will I pay my salaries? This fellow is not listening to me. My outstanding 120 days and more have become so much. Now, how will I manage my time? I don't have any time for myself. I'm busy only doing for others. So many things are coming, right? But when we start approaching with gratitude, you'll say, well, at least they are there. Sir, I'm can grateful you, that they are there. Can you, can you admit to some people in the waiting? Why don't you do that? Yeah, just uh, make me close. One second. I can't see anybody in the waiting. Uh, maybe they left. There was somebody waiting. OK, I'll make you a co-host anyway. So, in other words, sir, uh, carrying on this conversation, uh, most of us, the tendency is always in the complaining mode. And this brings uh, all the uh, frustration, irritation, problems and all. So, what you are basically telling us that shift yourself from complaining mode to the gratitude mode so that you start looking what is available instead of looking what is not. And when we shift this mind, that's plenty available, and I'm just thinking about something not available, complaining, then uh, all all feeling and all the such happiness starts. Am I right, sir? Yeah, okay. That's one way of looking at it. But I'm making it very simple, okay? One is our default mode. You know what I mean? Default mode, auto mode. And in your auto mode, different people are in different states, right? Some people are always complaining. Some people are feeling miserable. Some people are worried. All those things, you know, some people are angry, whatever. Now, from a default mode, I'm saying, how about consciously today? I don't know what you want to do tomorrow. That's up to you. I'm saying consciously today, I am going to, you know, be in a state of love and gratitude. Okay. Can you see the screen, please? Yeah, I am yes. consciously, I'm going to consciously allow myself to feel the gratitude. Now I know what gratitude feels like. We all know that. You know? So what if each moment, see, to be in gratitude, you really need to be with something, right? You can't be looking at it fleetingly. If you consciously pay attention to each and everything that comes in your way, Right? Like consciously. So my wife is sitting next to me. I'm consciously paying attention to her. I'm feeling great gratitude towards her. Even if it is for 10 seconds. So imagine moment by moment. 
every 10 seconds, whatever comes to you, you are allowing yourself to feel gratitude for that consciously. Two things will happen. You will live your day consciously. Okay. Every time your default mode comes up, you know what I mean? Default mode means your complaining may come up, your anger may come up, your worry might come up, whatever comes up in your auto mode, I don't know. You will notice it and say, oh, again, I'm starting my auto mode. I'm consciously now going to shift into gratitude mode. So one very important thing you'll have to start noticing, friends. One second, please. What will be coming in front of you as each and everything comes to you? You know, whenever something comes to you, one of our default mode, and we do it without even realizing that we are doing it, is that we are judging. So that is your default mode. Judging, comparing, right, wrong, good, bad. It's happening all the time. So if you want to be in a state of gratitude, then gratitude can only exist if there is no judgment. So very simple. So now as we sit here, we can go through this exercise. When we are going to allow ourselves to experience love and gratitude, experience it for everything. You, you can start with whoever you want to start with. Now, as you put your attention to those, let's start with the people in your life. Okay. So I say, all right, put your attention on your father. And notice the moment you do that, how the judgment will come, right? Past pictures, what kind of person they are, blah, blah, blah. All these are our judgments. Suppose we were just to drop those judgments, okay? Because we are not God to judge anybody. So let's say, all right, I will not judge. I will just look at this human being as he is. I will be in a state of allowance for him. Okay, allowance means to accept without judgment. And then once you drop your judgment, allow yourself to feel the gratitude that this person gave birth to you, this person gave your personality, this person gave you the life that you have, whether you like it or not like it, that's not the issue here. You have a life because of this person. Now put your attention on your mother and see if any judgment comes up. If it does, keep it aside and allow yourself to feel now, this is where you will start noticing how sometimes the judgment makes it very difficult for us to be grateful. Yes or no? Yes. But the truth is, whatever they are, whoever they are, they are part of our life, right? They are very important in our life. And we can allow ourselves to be grateful for the fact that they are there. Okay, now let's take our attention to other people who are close to us in our life. I will not, you know, there are too many, it's up to you. You can take them in the order of importance. And as you put your attention on them, you know, your siblings with whom you might have grown up, And see the moment you put your attention on them, immediately how the judgment comes, the opinion comes. If you just keep it aside and allow yourself to be grateful to them. Some of you can even visualize. So likewise, you can do it for each and every person who's there in your life. But that is only for the classroom. When you get out of this classroom or this virtual room and you start your day, like I said, we can express or allow ourselves to experience that gratitude for each and everything that comes our way. And to start our day today, you can actually visualize your day ahead, isn't it? Some of you have a plan for the day. Correct? You can imagine what your day is going to be like. Now, 
as you imagine what that day is going to be like notice if there are any judgments coming up when you think about the day that's going to come you know certain feelings will come up and as you watch those feelings you will find that there is some judgment behind it okay you may find that there is some resistance behind it our job is only to notice that and say all right and that is the life i have today can i allow myself to experience my gratitude that i have a life that i have a mission that i have a responsibility another way of looking at it is all right if i have chosen if i have chosen to be in this adventure called life now we watch movies to enjoy adventure of other people this is our adventure in our life can i allow myself to experience it fully and be grateful for that allow myself to experience the feeling of gratitude for that and that is setting up for your day and as you go along every moment like a conscious act allow yourself to experience gratitude okay no judgment because judgment will not allow gratitude to exist okay ladies and gentlemen so the but the question is sir uh, it seems judgment uh, is a negative word uh, but uh, why do we judge we judge based on our own perception uh, our own previous experiences of the same person yes, i get it i get it but we are not going to get into why we judge today okay. we can do another session for that or people can come and join the good to great program for that <laughs> it's not about why we judge right there is a basis for our judgment as you very well know correct and that's in our past data banks correct we've got a lot of so right now we'll not get into that right now i'm saying all right if you are judging notice that you are judging that's all you can do right if you can drop the judgment you will be able to experience gratitude if you are not able to drop the judgment you will not experience gratitude so uh, notice one thing konem now we are judging the judgment itself ki judgment is right or wrong see what if there is nothing right or wrong yeah? if you do x there will be one consequence if you do y there will be z consequence okay so if when we are judging we will not be able to experience love intimacy gratitude allowance all the other important things that we want in our life correct so if you are in a state of judgment there is a consequence for it it's not about being right or wrong we are not going to resist that we judge we will only notice it there is a tendency to judge good question thank you very much anything else you wanted to say about that No, thank you so much, sir. I think we have to develop the attitude of gratitude, and that's that's the uh, wonderful, wonderful way of living the life and getting all the positive, uh, great experiences. Yeah, thank and you, I'm sir. taking it a step further, Gunan. You may develop an attitude of gratitude, but it becomes visible only three times a day. Like you know, doctor writes a capsule, TDS, three times a day. Rest of the time, no gratitude. What I'm saying is, what if we can be in that state? every moment because if every moment every experience is a gift of god don't i want to cherish it and be grateful for it what i'm asking for may be difficult thing to do because we will get into our auto mode most of the time see if you if you see these people who are siddh purushas you know those who are enlightened beings you will find that they always every action of their is conscious they speak consciously they do things consciously they look at things consciously they eat consciously 
if you are conscious, you realize what tricks your brain is playing. And the first trick the brain plays is judging yourself. Suresh said, uh, put something interesting in the chat box. Suresh, why don't you say to the group what you're putting in the chat box? Everybody is not looking at chat box. We will say yeah. it, no? Yeah. So judgment takes us to comfort zone. Uh, your comfort zone, whatever it is. Yes, yes, yes. And then? Uh, that sometimes drags us to breakdowns. We yes. expect something and we judge something and we may miss also while judging, uh, you know, others or any to any things. Sometimes yeah. we miss also. Yep, absolutely. There is an old saying, no, as you believe, so shall it be. So if you are judging someone that this fellow is a rascal, it will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. You will find all the evidence to prove that he is a rascal. And for you, he will become a rascal. Yeah. So that is what uh, is the consequence of that. Very nice. Thank you very much. Okay. Anybody else? Anything else you want to say about the task for the day? Are you uh, looking forward to it or are you dreading it? Some people say, I have to live consciously. Yes, Suchit. Good morning, sir. Morning, <laughs> so, morning, morning. Regarding gratitude, the exercise that you asked us to do and to recollect the moments when we experienced it, uh, that was very uh, beautiful, sir. I, I, uh, the recollection was that it was some form of unexpected grace uh, and it answered the innermost cry of the heart. So uh, the unexpressed cry of the heart. So my feeling was that with gratitude, what I want to do is if I could pass it on, if I could, if I could be that, uh, a, a reply to somebody's uh, inner cry. So uh, that's one way of experiencing it more and more. Yeah, and you know, so such a beautiful thing you said, Suji, that if you were to do the exercise today, exercise money, if you are living the whole day, uh -huh. every moment uh -huh. in that feeling of gratitude, Will it not transmit to each and every person you come in touch with? You will be radiating that gratitude. That's, that's right, sir. That's right. You know, people have mirror neurons in their head, as you many of you might be knowing. That's okay? right. Yeah. Mirror neurons are neurons people have, which resonate with other people's neurons. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. when you are expressing or experiencing gratitude for anything, anyone, any situation, yeah. that yeah. vibration is going out. Yeah. And that which they crave for. Yeah. Actually, what are they getting, you know? They are actually getting something which is only the word is there in India. It's called Karuna. Yeah. There is no word in English for Karuna. You know that? Karuna. Sai might know. Sai, do you think there's a word for Karuna in English? Closest is compassion, sir. Yeah, but this is even more than compassion, no? Yeah. Because this is love, compassion, allowance, everything put into one, right? Yeah. So who has got Karuna? Only God has or Mother has, correct? True. And uh, I know I wanted to share in terms of gratitude. People think that only if things happen their way, uh, oh, wow, I got this, thank you. Exactly. Even the most unexpected thing or the thing that you never wanted in your life happens also. Just say thank you. And life is, you know, it's it's just not just a word. Uh, it's my uh, uh, experience in, in, in they, they've been so much, uh, you know, uh, oh, this shouldn't happen to me, but that has happened. And had the maturity to say, okay, thank you. And, and I'm, uh, if I'm there only, then only it will happen, no? Yeah. So I can be grateful that I'm there to experience it. Yeah. So one way oh. I kind of uh, say to myself, you know, I say, listen, I don't have to go to the movies to enjoy the thrill in my life, you know. Hmm. When I get the thrill in my life, I'm busy resisting it and saying, why is it happening to me? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So instead of saying, why is it happening to me? And I say, hey, I don't have to watch a movie. I'm experiencing the thrill right now. 
Mm-hmm. I'll be in a state of gratitude, right? But do you notice one thing, Sai? The, 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 the curse is if I'm judging. Like everybody finds it easy to be grateful when things mm-hmm. are going in their way, correct? Exactly. When things are not going their way is the way they are judging it, no? Mm-hmm. And then they are so busy resisting that experience. Mm-hmm. There is no question of being grateful. They are so busy resisting the experience. There is no question mm. of learning anything from that experience. Because I believe true. every true. experience is there for us to learn something. True. true, true. So if I am in bed and I can't get up for three days, that's an opportunity for something. I can spend it being resistant and you know upset. Oh my God, my work is getting affected, blah, blah, blah. Or I can say, all right, why is this rest period being given to me? Or why mm-hmm. this fear situation is being given to me? Mm-hmm. Maybe if I allow myself to experience what's going on, I might find out you know, what the purpose is. If I'm grateful for what's happening, I may discover what I can learn from this. True. And I've been through difficult situations in my life and I just say, all right, God, if you're giving it to me, there must be a reason. I'm grateful. Thank you very much. I'm willing to learn whatever is there in it. At this moment, I don't know what is there to learn, but I will be open to it. And it's interesting that the learning comes. True, true. true. Sometimes it comes after four days. You say, oh, that's why it happened, because I had to learn this. True, true. So, if we live today, sorry, please finish what you're saying. You're saying something? Okay. No, not me. Okay. So, what I'm saying is that if you, when you, I'll not say if you, when you greet this day with love and gratitude, okay, each and every moment, each and every person with this feeling of gratitude, each and every moment is going to be rich for you. Okay? Mm. These 24 hours can be like 10 years of experience. Each moment, like living consciously. If you want to carry it on to the next day, you're welcome to do so. If you don't, that's fine. Okay, now we're coming to that part of the Empowering Morning Conversations where participants have an opportunity to ask any questions that they might want to ask about anything that they are dealing with or whatever. Just I will try to answer them or other people here can also answer it. Just a quick one, sir. Uh, I, I am going to do this exercise. And uh, as you rightly mentioned that uh, the out of mode things uh, keeps on coming. So I am, I am, what I'm going to do is that whenever the thoughts of judgment is going to come, I am going to be uh, more curious, the, the feeling of curiosity. So replacing of judgment with curiosity to know the reality so that I get rid from the judgment state and be in the conscious state. And when will the gratitude state come then? And then automatically the gratitude will come when I become curious, then the next is the gratitude, the feeling of gratitude. Yeah, so we can do it the other way around. No, I will, I'm grateful that this situation is there and I'm curious to find out why it's there. Yes, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You know, it's fun, but why is Yeah. I think, sir, uh, the way you told me in one conversation that try to learn the learning and apply it from, like, this situation. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Anything you'd like to say or ask? Uh, sir, very well. I oh, like sir. to share a thought. Go ahead. Uh, actually, you have set exact tone for the day, gratitude and love. I was just thinking a little deeper to this uh, oak month, you know, first scrolls. Today, I began a new life. New life. It is beautifully aligning, sir. That's what I said. Sir, is chosen uh, different scroll, but it ends in the first scrolls. If I start with the gratitude and love, I'm going to live a new life. New. It, it, today, is, today, I begin a new life. Thank you. Very you much, began sir. Yeah, we should have done it in the first section. You know, we begin a new life. <laughs> but, but, but we it, begin a new not, life every day. Anyway. Thank you very much for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You read the book, no? You're a good boy. I recommend it. I recommend this book to everybody. 
it's called the greatest salesman in the world you will live in a state of inspiration okay so any questions so can we in, uh, can we independently generate any feeling that we need we can generate whatever feeling you want okay that's called the power of generation which we have which we lost okay so if you have any difficulty with this one uh just go back to the exercise we did this morning no we allowed ourselves to feel gratitude did we not ah uh. so i believe that the gratitude is there somewhere inside of us you know all we have to do is allow ourselves to experience it uh. we have all of these inside right uh. just like you have fear and anger and worry somewhere inside waiting to be triggered off same way you've got gratitude also yeah Because those experience it uh, those seem very easy to generate and very uh, uh, <laughs> i mean they come out with a lot of intensity whereas the positive ones need do seem uh, some uh, prodding they need to be prodded out uh, no let's look at it this way um the way we live our life no we are always influenced from the outside okay something triggers off my anger ah uh -huh. something triggers off my fear okay so same way something can trigger off my gratitude also okay that is why we will feel grateful for something which is similar to the earlier time when we felt gratitude that is not generating it okay generating it is consciously i am allowing myself to feel that feeling okay. nothing from the outside has triggered it okay sir yeah yeah you remember i think in the first session i said you know how yeah. does the how does the, how do circumstances influence us through our feelings correct yeah so any intelligent fellow will say if the circumstances are influencing me through my feelings i will generate i will learn to generate the feelings which i need so that i can give my 100% okay <laughs> so we will practice it just be in that state today and see what happens moment by moment right yeah consciously with full awareness allowing ourselves to be grateful for whatever is occurring in our life today yes and if thank we can you. extend by another day who knows what will happen <laughs> thank you sir all right sir so shall we for the bonding session and to you thank you sir thank you thank you thank you for joining us it's very interesting you know now we have some 39 people 40 people who joined but 17 people are attending so i wonder what's happening anyway i think i have recorded it oh my good god have i recorded it yes i did yes yes so the rest of you can watch the recording you are also getting on to a database and you will be getting mails from me also you can respond to them so that i know whether they are getting through to you or not okay so thank you very much and have a wonderful magnificent extraordinary day all you wonderful people Thank you. And same, same to you. Same to you. Music is it? Music. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry, it's not very clear. All right, you can bye -bye. share the link. <laughs> I will. I will share it.